Hi, welcome to this amazing chapter on lines and angles. You know why I call this chapter amazing? Because it forms the basics of geometry. And you know why geometry is cool? Just because geometry is the study of objects around us. So every object that we see around us, whether it's the pen that you're holding in your hand or the notebook that you see in front of you or the PC that you're using, every object has geometry involved. And when every object has geometry involved, geometry forms the basic of every profession that we have. For example, architecture, design, engineering, even for that matter, fashion or even medicine. Everything would have geometry involved in some way or the other. Now lines and angles forms the basic of that geometry. You would see that your notebook has a lot of lines on it and the margin that is there forms a right angle. It forms a right angle with those lines, doesn't it? Hence I think lines and angles is a pretty cool topic to study. Let's look at what we'll study in this given chapter. First of all, we'll look at what pairs of angles are. Next, we'll look at parallel lines and a transversal. Parallel lines and a transversal. Now, this is the symbol for parallel lines that I'll be using throughout the chapter. Then, we'll look at lines which are parallel to the same line. And finally, we'll look at the angle sum property of a triangle. So this is a symbol for a triangle and this is the symbol for a angle that we'll use throughout this chapter. Now before we start, let's revise some of the basic concepts about geometry. Happy learning!